favourite, nod and smile. Asymmetric, Sean McGruddy with the black cap. They stand, they're set. From by Beckett's gate, they're off and racing at the 1800. And Poya jumped Mahalio away very well, gathering speed. Asymmetric in front of the stablemate, Wee Ripper. Nod and Smile is going to press on. It's going up towards the lead. On a fix settles down near the rail. Red Hot Hope around the outside, improving quickly. Followed further back by Bamban Boy. He's a lucky lad. Arcadia Star and National Guard last as they sweep over into the back and Nod and Smile cleared them. So Nod and Smile to the top. Three quarters, Red Hot Hope. A length and a half to Mahalio, who's over on the inside next of all being followed closely by asymmetric then two and a half lengths behind those to Wee Ripper. A length on a fic. Then came Bamban Boy. Two lengths Arcadia Star. He's a lucky lad. And National Guard is back at the rear of the field as they head past the 1,000 mark. Nod and Smile, it's the favourite. Coming out of Maiden Company and in control of proceedings over Red Hot Hope. Mahalio well placed over on the inside. Just in front of Asymmetric. Two lengths further back at Stablemate. Wee Ripper. Then came on a fic as they gallop along by the 750. A length Bamban Bamban Boy, he's a lucky lad. There's no change at all to the order. Arcadia Star and National Guard. So Nod and Smile will quicken here at the 600. Starting to really lengthen. Out by a length and a half. Red Hot Hope. Mahalio pushing up on the inside. Wants the back of the favourite coming into the turn and travelling. Followed further back. Asymmetric. Wee Ripper on a fig. Bamban Boy. Nod and Smile will set sail for the judge with Mahalio in pursuit. At the top of the straight. Nod and Smile. Mahalio's trying to haul it in. Three lengths away. Asymmetric run. Running on, Mahalio hits the front. Nod and Smile goes with it. Mahalio, Nod and Smile, a war of attrition. Asymmetric comes down the outside. Mahalio again gets the head in front for Poi. Mahalio will win it. Mahalio, a long neck, Nod and Smile. On a fix, got right up on the rails in the concluding stages to probably run third from Asymmetric. He's a lucky lad, Arcadia star, Bamboo Boy, then Wee Ripper. Followed further back, Red Hot Hope, National Guard, and it was the last of them home. Number four, Mahalio, Michael Poy. Absolute moral beaten last start. Mahalio for Warwick Bradshaw today was in on the fence, but Poy, he wanted that leader's back when it kicked on the corner. And uh, once the field opened, he was able to get off the rails and uh, made sure that Mahalio found, and it certainly did at the end of 1800, Went around like it uh, hadn't been around at its uh, last run. And it got awfully strung up behind them. I can't believe the price of this horse this afternoon. Out to $11. Boy, oh boy, $11. And uh, it's got the money. Second placing goes the way of number 10, Nod and Smile. Brad Parnham. Third is number six, on a Fick, which has got right up on the fence, Troy Turner. And fourth is nine, Arcadia Star in 150.95. A long head by three quarters. They've run home in 35.97. 4.10.69 placings after the running of race seven. Mahalio is by our boy Leo from Miss Mahal, raced by Rhonda Wiley, trained by Warren, uh, Warwick Bradshaw, and uh, the first Ascot winner here for Michael Poy, who's come across here, very capable rider, and he's given this an absolute gem on Mahalio for Warwick Bradshaw this afternoon. Second placing, going to Nod and Smile, trying to do it all of the way by my admiration from Sakamoto, Brad Parnham for trainer Summer Dixon, owned by Summer and Jay Richards, and third honour fic by Dane Hill Express out of Detina, the visitor from Carnarvon for Pete Daly, Troy Turner, and race by A.G. Kosmicic, J and B. Urseg. So there it was, race seven, and a great value winner in Mahalio. The City of Belmont Trophy over 2,200 comes next. Troy Turner rides 10 armed and ready for Pete Daly. In the meantime, let's go down to uh, Brittany, who is with winning trainer Warwick Bradshaw after this horse's victory today. For some, no great surprise. It was absolutely stiff last start. Mahalio, yes, indeed. Last week, seven days ago, did not see a daylight, Warwick, and today things worked out. Yeah, sometimes you just don't have a good day, do you? Um, yeah, he was, he was really stiff the other day and you couldn't believe 
probably you can be that stiff. But anyway, Willie can do that to you from time to time. And occasionally happened. Uh, not too often, though, and unfortunately, you just had to bear that last week. But we spoke before the race last week, and you were saying off the seven days, you just had a small reservation just off a firmer track backing him up. And here he is again, three runs in three weeks. Were there any hesitations going here today, or given he didn't really get a crack at them, it was always a case of you can go around again? A uh, bit of both. He probably worked harder in the truck coming up and back. But um, no, the truth is, Willie did say after it, he said, no, he backed up fine, he felt fine, he felt like the winner in running, so, um, and he's probably, arguably, been a little bit better at home, he, um, he hasn't been quite as, uh, he was quite chipper on uh, Wednesday and Thursday, so uh, we, we didn't have a big problem with backing him up. When you say about what he's like in, in the travel from home, is he a bit of a fizzy type in the float, or? No, no, not really, um, he did, he does move around a bit, and today certainly he moved around coming up, he, I think he sort of said, hang on, you know, like three weeks in a row, fair income, but, um, uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't do it to him again. Okay, well, he said, I'll give you a win so you can leave me at home next week. <laughs> well done. And thank you very much. There is Warwick Bradshaw doing a great job with Mahalio as well. Uh, outside of last week, you go back the last two starts, both seconds. So it's been near about and hasn't been far away at all. And great to see Michael Poy take over the riding here today and be able to win what I think is his first uh, victory since moving here at, in the West. It certainly has. Brett will be the first time that I get to chat to Michael after he weighs in here with the victory of Mahalio. And you could see into the corner there was only one spot and one horse that he wanted to follow. And that was the favourite who was really travelling and running them along into the corner in nod and smile, I think. But uh, it was a, a really tactically great decision just to make sure that he followed the right horse through. And in the end, it's paid dividends. Mahalio breaks through his first win for Warwick Bradshaw since transferring a crops mid-preparation from Fred Kersley. And now Michael Poy, who's just weighed in, rides his first winner here in the West. Congratulations, Michael. Nice to meet you and a, a nice ride. No, thank you. Um, look, credit to owners and, and trainer and connections for, for giving me the chance. Um, it's good to get the monkey off my back. I've had a few rides now. And to be honest, this has probably been my best chance um, since I've been here, but my job was easy. We drew barrier two. Parnham's rated their horse as well. Um, the run come at the right time, and the horse did everything from there on, really. Credit to the uh, the three-year-old, the leader, because it certainly made you work for it. It did. Um, I was pretty confident I had it beat probably at the top of the straight, um, but I just knew I was never going to win by a length or two lengths. I was only just going to get there, which the horse is a bit renowned for doing, probably just running seconds and thirds, missing by not much. But Credit to the horse trainers, all owners, thanks for the ride, and hopefully um, the horse can keep moving on with this. Get to Belmont Park next week. They've got a 2,000 metre start. Is 1,800 as far as he wants, or could they squeeze 2,000 out of him? I think 2,000 with a soft draw, probably riding him a pair further back to make sure he runs it. He shouldn't have any worries there. How are you enjoying your time in the West? Uh, it's a lot warmer than Melbourne, and I'm having a good time. So as long as things keep rolling well, we'll, uh, we'll be staying for a little bit maybe. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. There is Michael Poy, and I don't know what he's talking about this weather at the moment, because today feels like it is Melbourne. Uh, pretty chilly conditions, but he's right. Normally, the sun is shining. 4, 10, 6 and 9, the numbers here for race number 7.